Okay, so we had a muck up, so we're going to restart game two. So what I'm doing, I bought in two Duress. I think he's on some sort of a control build, and I'm going to bring in this blood crazed paladin for the first time ever. Just as a kind of a hedge against sweepers and a kite sail freebooter. So those four, I'll take out the Sky Sovereign. Fatal Push is still kind of handy. Cut to Ribbons might have to go. Oh no, Cut to Ribbons can be a finisher as well. Um, a Rampaging Ferocidon. I might actually take out one Fatal Push. And... Um, Blister, Fleetwood Cruiser. One card to go. Ruin Raid will be good card draw, particularly against uh, control. Cut to ribbons, I think, just in case he doesn't have enough creatures. So he's on the play because I took game one. Two lands, it's a bit reactive. Three creature removals. I'm going to mulligan that because he doesn't have a lot of creatures, from what I understand. Not ide not the best hand, but. What can you do? Don't want the fourth land. I don't want that. I think the the only counter spells I've seen two. I've seen disallow and um, supreme will. Uh, so maybe I should have kept that one the other time. I'll take black here. The good thing that I, I like about this deck from uh, uh, Colron's deck is that the control decks tend to tap out a lot on turn two now for that search for Escanta. Um, which enables them to. Um, to play that Hada Karang quite consistently. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I can either play Scrap Heap Scranger because then I'll have two threats to attack him with whatever he does in next turn or I can Ruin Raider because I can attack with the Heart of Karang it'll do no damage but it'll still give me the card draw so I, I, I think I'm going to go for the card draw here Blister's nice it's for zero, so cost me nothing. And now he kind of has to do something because uh, I've got two threat. I mean, he doesn't know that I've got targeting the heart of Quran again. Now I've got a situation where I can unlicense disintegration that and then redirect to Gideon and Ruin Raider can finish him off. I'm going to do that because if he has a response I can Bone Picker.
If he has a counter spell, then it mucks everything up. I'm gonna try it. He's got three cards left in hand. So now we'll see if he's got a removal spell. Because he can fatal push because he just lost here. So that means I can play the bone picker out. And I believe I still get the raid trigger. No, I don't. Okay. He's down to two cards, so I'm, I'm kind of wary of the fact he's only got two and his gun is running low. Okay, so I think he's given up on Gideon. I'm just going to take the hit because if he's got that card, uh, I'm just wary of settle the wreckage. So do I play around Settle the Wreckage, or do I play around another spell? I can't think what other spell he has that removes... There's, there's one that they play that does 2 damage to attacking creatures as well. I, I crew the Heart of Quran, so I'm just going to swing one. He's looking for a fatal push. It's going to enable him to flip search for Skanta. I can also get in with the hostile desert next turn. See if he found a fatal push. He did. So I've got 9 power on the board for the next turn.
I think he, I just have to go for it this time. I'm not going to commit the hostile desert. I'm, I'm guessing he's probably holding counter spells. settle the wreckage so I, I think if he's just just holding counter spells I don't have to do anything I can just sit back and I've got him effectively at 12 with the remnant ruins. Hopefully he's got gear hulk, there will be a huge blowout. Still no blocks, so I've actually got lethal next turn. Well, that'll stop the rumming up ruins, so uh, I can do it now. Did I get there in time? I try to cancel the F3. I can rumming up ruins him right now. Okay, luckily he cycled, so I will use this to one, two, three, four. So now I've got lethal on board. So you, you can't disallow the ramen up ruins. So does he have a gear hulk here? It has to be gear hulk or settle the wreckage I think. It's my last two basics. So now what do I want to do? He's got four cards left. Three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if I can... I will ballista for... F three.
So he's facing down lethal again. With a disallow in hand. And I have two activations of Hostile Desert in my grave. The Evolving Wilds and the Ramen Up Ruins. So I think it's just dead now. Let's see what he's got. Does he have another? I mean, settled record check and in response sack the ballista for three. He has to somehow stop this attack. Oh, and okay, so he's gonna take the three. Then he's gonna disallow the one of the triggers to survive for a turn. But this is going to allow me to uh, play Bone Picker as well. So you just allow this one. I'll run out Bone Picker first. See if it'll bait any counter spell. So I got him now. So two nil. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can just cast it for four. Yep, so I take standard two games to zero. 